Hello, and welcome to Tip of the Week, sponsored by CAD Tech Seminars. Today we're going to discuss moving the central file in Revit 2009 and 2010. The interface I'll be using is actually 2010. If you'd like to learn more about our company, go to freerevittraining.com and you can find out more there. I'm going to switch on over to Revit. Now I'm currently running Revit Structures 2010, and we're going to discuss first of all the creation of a central file where it's located and the problems or situations you may run into if you try to move that file and also how to fix it. So let's take a look here. Uh, when you first start up a Revit file it does not have work sets enabled. When you click on this little button it'll warn you say work sets will be enabled and then it fires up and actually creates them and you get these uh, separate work sets. What it does it actually separates the information into different groups uh, so we'll hit OK on that. Now I'm going to close out of this and we'll go over here and hit close and this is the actual central file I'm going to close out of it now um, here's just another model we're not going to worry about that but I come up here and I drop this down and I, let's say I want to open up a new local file now in Revit 2010 the nice thing is you don't have to really think about it much you just go open project and then you go find that project now you'll see I've got a folder called Central Test here, and it's called Testing Central Files. Now this is the central file. Now I click on it, notice by default down here, I'll actually ping it. Uh, notice that it says creating a new local file by default. So it knows this is a central file. The central file knows the central file. So I can do this. This is probably the easiest way to create a new local file. And then I hit open. When I hit open, it's going to create a new file, and it's going to put the username as part of the extension. So let's take a look up top. It pops up to testing central file underscore Ken Colgan dot RVT. Since it knows we're we're oh, we're opening up the original, it makes the local copy for us, which makes it nice. Then we can just do a save as. Another option is we can actually go to the central file and if I make a copy of it, I'll right click and hit copy. And we'll let's say have a subfolder in here, so I'm gonna create a new one and a new folder, we'll call it user user1 okay and then I put this file in here I paste it um, now it says, see it says testing central files just like before now I'm going to uh, minimize this we'll close out of this if you want to save locally or cancel we're just going to uh, don't save the project okay uh, relinquish all elements and we go it goes away okay so now we're going to go back out and I want you to notice when I pick the file we just copied okay now we copy and pasted the file in there that's all we did nothing special now I'm going to open again and we're going to go through the process here uh, probably would have been easier to click on a little open icon right here but eh, what do you do I click on here see it says testing central file also now when I click on it notice it's down at the bottom and now create new local is turned off and it attached from central fires up so it knows it's a copy so whenever the file is moved okay by default what Revit tries to do it says hey if I am not in the exact same folder in the exact same place on the exact same server I'm assuming that I'm a copy and I need to write back to the central file now internally it knows where the file is because it has that path saved so how do we make this uh, work uh, if we want to let's say we want to make it, uh, excuse me, by default this one is actually tied back to the central file. Okay, so it knows where the central file is at all times. The easiest way to create one, you can first of all copy it and you'll see it says here um, it knows it's its its own file. Now let's get uh, rename this here and we'll call it to user1. Now this guy knows that he's looking back at that central file and you notice the picture right here. Now I'm just going to cancel out of this. Now we're going to do something kind of sneaky. We're going to go over here and we're going to play like we're going to move the file and we're going to go through the reset process. Now we have a folder called central test. In that folder we have testing central files and this the backup files that go with it. Let's say we want to move it to a new server location. So just for, uh, for simplicity what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this folder here and I'm going to rename it. By renaming it this full testing central file, the central file here, will think it's not the central file anymore. So we hit rename on it. And I'll come over here and I'll call it test2. Now, I just changed it in the Windows environment. Okay, that's what we did. Uh, 
now nah, we've got a file open, so let's go back and close that out. Okay. So, um, BNN won't let me rename the file. I'm going to close out of Revit. Save changes. Let's see. I uh, know. And I'm not even sure how many we have out there. Okay. So I've closed Revit. Now I'm going to open up the Explorer again. And being that we're out of Revit, we should be able to go rename that file without a problem. So we'll go back up. We're going to hit the C drive. We're going to go to Central Test. It's a little higher up. Pick it. Right click. Rename. Come in here. Central Test 2 and we click off of it and she should be renamed now. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open back up Revit. Now, though I'm using structures, this works in all versions. So when Revit opens back up, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and take a look at that central file and try to create a local one from the central file we just moved. Uh, recommended by Autodesk that you create a local file once a day. Uh, that way you know you're um, keeping everything clean and up-to-date. Now I'm just gonna go over here and hit open and we're gonna come over here and let's say go to that C drive again and we go to CAD Tech Central Test 2. Now notice we renamed it, okay? It's a slight naming difference. So now when I click on this, notice it doesn't think it's a central file anymore because what it's trying to do, it's trying to look back to a folder that has test 1. We're gonna open it anyhow, okay? We're going to hit open. See, it thinks it's a new local file. Hit open. It's going to come up. It's going to throw a fit because it's not going to be able to find the file. So, notice the central file has been copied and moved to a new location. Um, we can save this as a new file and make it the central file, or we can redirect it. And that's what we're going to hit now. So, we hit close out of that. Okay. Now, it opens it up and says, hey, it cannot be found so it's lost the connection so what we did we moved the file now it's still well actually it doesn't think it's a central file yet because we need to tell it it's a central file so we moved the file now we're going to try going to try to do is go to collaborate and we hit synchronize with central now when we hit synch synchronize and modify settings we know where we moved the new file to it's to central test 2 so we can type this in or we can go browsing and it says cannot find it so we go browsing. Now we go to central test 2 we knew this was the central file right? Now we hit open Revit goes nope please find a central file and you and I are thinking nope that is the central file and it's going nope not a central file. When we moved it there's a path inside of it that tells it that is a central file. If it, if it matches it knows it's a central file. By us moving it it has become a local file so we have to go into that into that actual file and change change it from a local to a central. So that's what we're going to do now. So this file is inactive right now. It's not working. Testing central files to say I'm I'm a central file. So notice what comes up here. It says now since it couldn't find it, do you want this to be the central file? Now we're going to go browsing. Okay. Make cancel out of this. So here it is. Uh, testing central files. Now when we drop this down and we can go save as. And we go save it as a project. It's going to come up and it's going to ask us, okay? Now at this point, we can come down here and hit save. I'm going to hit options and we can say make this the central file now. When we hit okay, what it's going to do, it's going to ch check the pathing and uh, make those adjustments. So now I hit save it and notice it's central test 2 okay I hit save so now the central file in that location is going to know it's the it's a central file now so we'll close out of it now we had a user out there it needs to be redirected also so we're going to open go to user 1 and here's our user 1 we again open it up now it's going to again throw a fit because it's looking for a central file that doesn't exist okay so the central file does not exist not a problem. It's going to open it up. Again, it's warning us. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drop this down. Instead of just hitting synchronize, we're going to go synchronize and modify settings. Now it's going to come up. It's going to, it's going to try to, to set up here. If we hit OK, it's going to throw a fit. Okay, this doesn't exist. Not a problem. So what we do now is we're going to go back up top, synchronize mod and modify settings, go browsing, 
browse and now it knows this is a central file because we told it it was. We hit open, okay, hit okay, hit okay, and now it's writing back to that central file. So central files keep the pathing internally to know it's a central file. The second you move it away, think of an if-then statement if you are programming, if the path doesn't equal the central file path and the name, then it says I am a new local file and I will read and write to that central file. So internally that's where it keeps the information. So if you keep that in mind when you're working with uh, central files and local files, uh, that's pretty much how it works. So I hope that cleared up uh, some of the central file, local file uh, aspects of it. And if you have any questions, uh, check us out on the web, freerevittraining.com. Thank you.